Welcome back guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So, my last wild camp, as you've seen from the title of this video, I bailed, I couldn't do it, I bottled it, whatever you want to say. But to be honest, the whole thing, it was doomed from the beginning. And you know what, I didn't even get into the nit and gritty of the whole camp. I didn't get set up, I didn't even unpack my bag. As soon as I walked into the area, I just knew it was game over. So without wasting anybody's time let's get straight into the breakdown of why i build and hopefully the outcome of this video it can maybe help or raise awareness so somebody else doesn't go down the same route as what i did so to start from the beginning it was a beautiful day it was a high of 26 degrees celsius and it was only going to drop to 16 degrees celsius at the lowest point at the night which would probably make this camp one of the warmest camps I'd ever done. And I was really excited for this fact. I often find myself um, getting caught out in the rain or just whatever, some drama normally happens. So this was gonna be a beautiful, lovely day that yeah, I was really excited for. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to go for a very minimal setup. So I just had my wool blanket. I wasn't gonna use any shelter, just camp literally around the campfire, proper hobo style. And because of the nice weather and this minimal setup I was going for, I decided to just literally wear the clothes on my back, which was a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, which thinking about it now was a daft idea. So they say your clothing is your first layer of protection when you're in the outdoors. Now, weather-wise, I wasn't too worried. Obviously it was a nice day, so I didn't have to concern myself too much with that. I knew there were gonna be midges about, which I was dealing with, I was putting up with, but I knew once I'd got set up and got that campfire on the go, then they wouldn't be too much of an issue anymore. Obviously they don't like the smoke from the campfire, but this is where I get caught out and what I wasn't prepared for are ticks. Now, I'm used to the odd tick, I get a few each year, but the amount of ticks on this trip was absolutely insane and I'm not even over-exaggerating. So the first half of the hike to the campsite was completely fine, to be honest, it was a beautiful day, like I said, walking through fields, walking through some like pretty popular routes, you know, where the, the ground is all crushed and there's no overgrowth or anything like that so everything was going spot on but as soon as we got into the second half of the hike and we started going off the main route onto these smaller routes we started walking through all the overgrowth then that is where it became a huge problem every time i was looking down at my legs you could literally see groups of ticks crawling about luckily i was catching them early so most of them i could just brush off and with the odd few that had bitten in i had the tweezers on me victorian ox huntsman to pull them out patty who joined me on this trip was also having the same problem but we did notice that i was getting a lot more on my legs than her now she shaves her legs i don't so that was probably why i guess so one way to combat ticks i found through this experience is go shave your legs lads don't be shy well <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm not going to do that, I'm not prepared to do that, so yeah, she was getting them as well, not as bad as me, but yeah, it was definitely still a problem. Anyways, so at this point we kept pushing on through, battling our way down to the river where we had planned to set up camp, but at this point we knew it was game over, like we're just getting covered, so even the thought of trekking back out to the main path and going back to through all them takes was just a horrible thought. Never mind trying to set up camp, going around collecting firewood, doing all those camping chores. It would have just been an absolute nightmare. And like I said, I was going out with me wool blanket only, no shelter. Patty was gonna use the hammock, so it wouldn't have been as bad for her. But me lying on the ground with a wool blanket only as some cover, it was just, no, I wasn't prepared to do that. Like, so yeah, proper schoolboy era. So we decided to bail. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking like, what were you doing in shorts, in the long grass? in summertime and I know ticks are a thing obviously I'm not that clueless but I was not expecting this amount like it was absolutely insane at most I probably notice a few ticks each year on us but this trip alone collectively over the whole trip without even exaggerating I would say I had roughly about 50 ticks on us through the whole experience I can't even imagine what I'd look like if I actually committed to the camp and slept overnight. It would have just been absolutely insane. At the end of the day, really good learning experience for us now. I am stubborn, I need, even though I'm aware that things can go wrong, I do need to, in a lot of situations, experience for myself, really understand the situation, what I can 
get away with and what I can't. So a lot of people might be watching this video and be like, um, absolutely daft and that was always inevitably going to happen and yeah you're probably right but like i said i need to know firsthand of what i can get away with and going out in my shorts peak summer time walking through all the grass and everything nah i kind of get away with it and now I know. So in my last video talking about budget clothing I'll leave a link to that one in the description below but in that video I talked about how I love to wear my Adidas tracky bottoms and that is what I've worn the most throughout my time hiking and camping or whatever and like I said I've only ever gotten at most a few ticks each year so it's actually an eye-opener to how a budget option like these Adidas trackies can actually be really good at keeping all these ticks off you. So I tried to be a bit more daring and get my shorts out on this trip, but no, it's back to the Adidas tracky bottoms for me. They're tried and tested and they work. Or at least if I'm going out on my shorts, then at least have my tracky bottoms in my backpack ready just in case I do need them. I want to know though, without just saying, well, I'd never put myself in that situation in the first place. Is there anything different that you would do if you found yourself in a situation like that? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm really curious to know if there's any tips and tricks when it comes to ticks. I know there's a lot for midges and other bugs out there, but if you find yourself exposed and there's ticks around, what would you do? in that situation please let me know so with all that being said the ticks may have won the battle but i refuse to let them win the war so i'll be back out again to do the same camp with the wool blanket no shelter i really want to do it i'm committed to it so look out for that video coming soon but yeah look after yourselves out there guys no matter what season it is what time of year there's always going to be challenges that we have to overcome but at the end of the day would it be as fun if we didn't have these risks and challenges, I don't think so. So all the best, take care, peace. But yeah, look after yourself.